it's time to dive into the most critical part of this journey. We want to understand our why. Now, this is going to be the foundation, the deep-seated reason behind your vision. Your why is what will keep you motivated, especially during challenging times. Are you ready to transform your life? This is a no-nonsense show helping immigrants like you create generational wealth, even while working full-time. Get ready to take notes. Here's your host, Socket Jane. Welcome to the Migrate to Wealth podcast, where we redefine what success and wealth truly mean. I'm Sake Jane, and today we're turning a page on conventional New Year's resolution. Before we go there, a very happy New Year to you, and I really hope that you were able to have spent some r and time, a good r and time with your family during the holidays. So today we're embracing a life-changing concept that's inspired by one of my favorite books, it was writ- it's written by Dr. Benjamin Hardy, Be Your Future Self Now. It's really to transform how we approach our goals, our future, our life. Let's get started. I'm convinced that the traditional resolution-making model is flawed. It has never worked for me. Um, you know, think a typical New Year's resolution. They often start with a burst of energy, a burst of motivation, they eventually fizzle out. I mean, the, the sign-ups, uh, the gym sign-ups in Jan and December goes up. It's really an indication of that. But a lot of that, a lot of, a lot of those people never go back to the gym after maybe a week or two, maybe a month. So why does it really happen? Why do they fizzle out? It's because they're usually surface level. You know, it would be more like losing weight, saving money, learn a new skill. But none of that is anchored in something deeper. You know, you may want to reflect on your past resolutions. So picture them. Did they stuck for you? Maybe for some of you, they, some of them did. But chances are, more than likely, most of them did not stick. So it's often because they weren't tied to a meaningful vision, a future-focused vision. They were reactive. They were not proactive. They addressed the what. What do you want to do? I want to lose weight. But not the why. Why do you want to lose weight? Or even more important, Who? Who do you want to become? They tend to be short-term wishes, not deeply rooted commitments. They're often more about societal expectations, right? What people are telling us to do than our true desires. So within a week, within a month, within two months, our motivation to achieve those goals, to achieve those visions, to stick to our resolutions, fizzle out. So now let's talk, let's think about a completely diametrically opposite view. Let's con- let's contrast this with a future oriented approach. This method is not about quick fixes, but about long term meaningful change. Right? It's about aligning your daily actions with that compelling future vision. So let's delve into the heart of our journey, which is envisioning your future self at the end of 2024. The drastic difference is. One model, you're trying to make a decision on what do you want to do today. In this new model that we're talking about today, it's about what do you want to be 365 days, maybe 300 days later, by the end of December 31st, 2024, who have you become, right? So before we start there, if you're currently driving, operating machinery, or in motion, I recommend pausing the podcast and returning to this exercise when you're in a safe and comfortable place. For those who can, let's produce. Let's proceed. If you're in a safe place where you can comfortably close your eyes, let's begin. <clears throat> close your eyes. So this exercise is about painting a detailed picture of your future. Take three deep breaths. Deep inhalation, full exhalation. Deep inhalation, full exhalation. The last one. Even deeper inhalation and full exhalation. So with the eyes closed, and this relaxed state, imagine where you are, what you're doing, who is with you. Envision the specifics, the surroundings, the emotions, the achievements. Imagine it all. So for instance, if you see yourself as a successful entrepreneur, visualize the specifics of that success. Are you leaving, are you leading a thriving startup with an innovative product? Picture your office environment. The buzz of productive teams, the satisfaction of positive customer feedback. Let's say you're an artist. Imagine your art being exhibited in the gallery. The colors, the textures, 
the people admiring your work, the chatter around your artwork in the galleries. Perhaps you see yourself in peak physical health. Imagine running a marathon, your feet pounding the pavement, the cheers of the crowd, the exhilarating rush of crossing finish line. Or picture a balanced life where you're spending quality time with family. You're enjoying a picnic in a park. The laughter and joy fills the air. Feel the emotions that are associated with these visions. The sense of accomplishment, the pride, the joy. Stay with that for a few, few more seconds. Stay with that. But slowly open your eyes. Look, it's not just about what you've achieved, but how you feel the happiness of living your passion, the commitment of work-life balance, the peace of financial stability, being in peak health. This emotional connection is the driving force behind your vision. Dr. Hardy highlights the importance of emotions because they are the essence of your vision. They transform dreams into tangible realities. And let that vision guide you, inspire you, and propel you towards a fulfilling year. So thank you for closing your eyes. Thank you for trusting me with that. Uh, but now that you have a vivid image of your future self, hold on to it. It's important. Now it's time to dive into the most critical part of this journey. We want to understand our why. Now this is going to be the foundation, the deep-seated reason behind your vision. Your why is what will keep you motivated, especially during challenging times. We know it's going to be not all ups. There's going to be downs in you trying to accomplish your vision. So in those challenging times, you need something to motivate you, right? So let's explore this a little further. If your future self is healthier and fitter, ask yourself, why is this important to you? Is it important because you want to live a longer, healthier life? If it is, why is that important to you? To maybe see your children or grandchildren grow up. If you have daughters, maybe give away your daughters, right? If you have boys, teaching them something that you want to teach them. Girls, whoever you have, why do you want to live a healthier, longer life? It's important. It's up to... Now, let's, let's actually, let's go to the next one. What if you want to overcome a personal challenge or a health scare that made you realize the value of good health? Maybe it's not children. Maybe... Maybe something happened, you went for a doctor's checkup and they, they found a blockage in your heart. Maybe somebody in your family told you that they, are, they have cancer, right? That health scare is meaning making you realize the value of good health, how important it is. Or it could be as simple as you want mental clarity and the energy that comes with physical fitness. You have to define your reasons, right? It doesn't have to be my reason. It doesn't have to be your spouse's reason. It doesn't have to be a friend's reason. It's your why. Now, if your vision is about professional success, you want to dig into the reasons behind it as well. Is it financial independence that you want to seek? The freedom to make choices without financial constraints? Or is it the fulfillment that comes with making an impact in your field from knowing that work, your work contributes to something greater? Maybe, or maybe it's about proving yourself and perhaps others that you can overcome any obstacle and achieve what you set out to do. It's your why. It's not right. It's not wrong. It's your why. Your why should resonate with you on a deep personal level. It's not a superficial reason, but something that connects with you, connects with your core values, your beliefs. It is the driving force that will keep you pushing forward. It's already driving you. We're making that process more conscious. Now, it's also about the legacy. Your why is also about the legacy you want to leave. What do you want to be remembered for? Is it the courage to chase your dreams, the dedication to your family, the commitment to making a difference? What is it? This legacy forms a crucial part of your why, giving your goals a deeper, more enduring purpose. Now that we have a clear vision, we know what the future lo needs to look like for us by the end of 2024. And we have anchored that into a strong why. The next step is very important as well. It's about reverse engineering this future, right? Basically, what steps did you take? Stay in that future vision. What steps did you take throughout 2024 to become that person? Now, I know I asked you to open your eyes. If you want to close your eyes, if that gives you more clarity, do that. But you don't have to. But if you choose to, feel free. So think of it, think of this step as really creating a roadmap from the future to the to the present. For example, if your future self is healthier and fitter, 
What milestones did you achieve by mid-year? What routines did you establish by spring? Break it down. Break it down to what this means for this month, this week, today, right? This isn't just goal setting. It's crafting a narrative. It's creating a narrative of your future success. Each step, each chapter, each activity brings you closer to that envisioned future. Let's say you see yourself as a community leader. What steps did you take? Maybe you started as a volunteer, right? Started by volunteering locally, then organized community events and gradually took a more significant role in your community. So with our future, the future self clearly envisioned, our why deeply understood and having a sense of a roadmap, it's time to anchor this vision in the present. Right? It's all about transforming our long-term goals, which seems daunting sometimes, into immediate actionable steps. It's these steps, no matter how small or how big, that will propel us towards our envisioned future. So let's start by identifying one aspect of your future self. It could be related to your career, your health, your personal development, your relationships. It could be anything. Now pick that one future self and think of one action that you can take today to move you closer to this aspect. But before you decide that, it's crucial that this action is both achievable and relevant. So for example, if your future self is financially independent, perhaps today's action is as simple as setting a new savings account or scheduling a consultation with a financial advisor. Or if you don't have one, figure out a way to identify one, whatever it is. If your goal is to be in the better physical shape, maybe it's committing to a 10-minute workout today or choosing a healthy meal over fast food. If it involves a deeper connection with your loved one, maybe your action today is writing a heartfelt letter to that member or planning a quality time activity for the weekend. For career advancement, it could be updating your resume, enrolling into a course that you've been thinking about, or even reaching out to a mentor for advice. It could be anything, but it has to be actionable and achievable step. Remember the power of these actions lie in their consistency, right? One small action today will lead to another tomorrow and the next day and the day after, gradually building the path towards your future self. You already built a roadmap how to get there. Now, this is about the steps that you take, actionable, the tactics of how would you get there. It's about creating a habit of taking steps that align with your long-term vision. Also, as you take these steps, keep your vision and your why at the forefront of your mind because they are not just the destination. They're also the fuel that keeps you moving towards, moving towards the goal, moving forward. Each action, no matter how small or no matter how big, is a significant stride towards a person that you aspire to be by the end of 2024. Now, as we near the end of our journey today, I would like to recap the essential steps that we have covered. It's really a five-step process. Revisiting them will help cement those ideas in your mind and will guide you in implementing them. So step one was think, rethinking traditional resolutions, right? We discussed the limitations of typical New Year's resolution and the importance of creating a resolution that deeply connects to our true aspirations and future selves. Step two was about crafting your future self where we did a vivid imagination exercise, vivid visualization exercise of where you want to be by the end of 2024, December 31st, 2024, 11.59 p.m. Who are you? We imagine the specifics of this vision, including the setting, the emotions, the accomplishments of your future self. Step three was about understanding the why, anchoring this vision into a why. We delve deep into the reasons behind your vision. Your why is the driving force that gives meaning to your goals and keeps you motivated. This is the difference between setting up a new resolution versus coming to the goals and actions from future perspective, because the why is important. The next step, step four, was reverse engineering your future. In this step, we talked about breaking down your long-term vision into achievable milestones. You know. We created a roadmap of steps and actions to reach your goal. The last step, most important step, every step is important, but this is about 
actionable step that you're going to take today. We identified one actionable action, achievable action that you can take today that aligns with your future self. We talked about the consistency, the importance of consistency and taking small steps towards your long-term vision. Just remember that each of these steps build up right, uh, from one another, forming a comprehensive approach to achieving your goals and becoming your future self. Keep this step in mind as you move forward in your journey. So with that, we have come to the end of today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got value from it. As we wrap up, I really want you to hold on to that vivid image of your future self. Let it guide your choices and actions. Every day, ask yourself, what can I do today to become the person I envision in 2024? Let this question, this very question of what can I do today to become the person I envision in 2024 be your compass, leading you towards the future filled with achievement, growth, and fulfillment. Remember, it's a small, consistent step that lead to significantly changing uh, our lives. Your daily actions, no matter how small, are building block towards the future. Embrace them, celebrate them, and let them propel you forward. And with that, we're going to conclude today's journey on Migrate to Wealth podcast. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for sharing your time with me. Thank you for doing the exercises with me. And uh, thank you for embracing the journey towards a transformative 2024. I extend to you my heartfelt wishes for success, happiness, and fulfillment. Until we meet again, keep taking those steps towards greatness. May 2024 be your most remarkable year yet. Thank you. If you got value from this episode, you might consider sharing this content with a friend. But most importantly, be sure to take action on what you've learned. One way you can take the next step is to connect directly with Socket on an investor call. That link is waiting for you in the show notes below.